What's the $64 question to supersize and grow your business? Yep, $64. Uh, $64 question. I didn't remember or I don't know that I've heard this idiom very much. Nowadays, I think we hear it as, well, that's the million dollar question. But this idiom began as the $64 question. Came from a very popular radio show in the 1940s called Take It or Leave It. And they would ask a series of questions getting harder and harder and more difficult. And the, the contestants would have to answer the questions. And if they got them all right and the top one right, they would get to take home 64 silver dollars. Yes, 64 silver dollars in 1940 was a big deal. And then in the 1950s, there was an actual remake, a, a spin-off television show that was called uh, the $64,000 question. And that was even more popular than the radio show. So asking a question uh, with a big amount of money or what's considered a big amount of money at the time about to get questions answered and to answer questions and we get rewarded by the questions that we answer for people, right? So my question today is, and we're talking about questions for the BU 365 day challenge. We're talking about the power of questions, especially the power of our primary question. And I shared my story of when I had a sudden cardiac arrest, I woke up from the coma and realized that the primary question I'd been asking myself for quite a long time was WTF. Now WTF, the way I was asking it, was not a very empowering question. It basically was setting me up to always be stressed out, frustrated, overwhelmed, which was part of what led to my sudden cardiac arrest in the first place. So. I had to create, thank you to Tony Robbins, a new primary question, one that empowered me and that I could use to move my life in the direction I wanted it to go, not to stay stuck in, an, in situations that I found overwhelming, stressful, and too much to handle, obviously, since I decided to check out for a while. So we're talking about, and we talked about in the challenge, the importance of a primary question. Now, we all have a primary question, whether we're consciously aware of it or not. I have had a, in my Primary question has changed during different periods of my life. And I could go back and I could think about when I was a kid, what was my primary question? Probably my personal interacting with other humans first primary question was, are you friendly? Because whenever a new kid would come in the neighborhood, the first thing out of my mouth, and, and I was the leader of the pack back then, would be, are you friendly? And if they said yes, they could come and play with us and be their friend. If they said no, we usually would chase them away and not play with them. And then next time they came and we asked, are you friendly? They learned to say yes, and then we would play with them. So we all have a primary question, but we also can create and use as a very powerful directional guiding light visionary tool, a primary question for our business. So today I'm asking you, what is the primary question for your business? And then just like our primary question for our personal life, what are the positives of that and what are the negatives of it? And we want to find a primary question that has a whole lot more positives or ways to interpret it positively than negative. I used back in when I first replaced the WTF with what am I creating now? And it took me about a week to come up with that because I played with different things and different words and different phrases, but I needed something that said more to me just kind of like idioms, than the words that were written on the page. And what am I creating now, a five sentence to replace my three WTF, focused on creation and giving me back the personal power to create what I wanted in my life. It caused me to focus on the present moment now. What is the thing I'm doing and thinking and feeling and believing right now? What's that going to create in terms of of the future that I want because the only time that we can ever create anything is in the present moment. And so that became my driving personal question for a long, long time. I'm going to ask myself today, what's my new, what's my current primary question? Because I think that since COVID, it's gone a little bit toward the negative. I don't want to stop that so I can actually be creating what I want in the world. So share in the comments below if you're brave or if you know what is your business's primary question. Maybe it's the primary question or the, or the thing that you do or the primary question that you answer for the people that you serve. Maybe you've never thought about that.
and you're just in a business because you fell into this business or bought this business. I've been in businesses like that where I, I thought it sounded like a good idea. We could make some money at it. It might be fun. And I bought those businesses and we grew them and then got rid of them. Or uh, I didn't have a primary question that was empowering that business. And I could, I think I might do that today too. think a little bit back over the different businesses and industries I've been in and what the primary question I was asking myself was when I was in that situation. So I think I could learn some very cool things about myself and as a leader and as a business owner by asking that and saying, hmm, well, does my primary question that I was asking at the time match what I was wanting to create? And I suspect the businesses that were successful, the answer is yes. The businesses that I had challenges with, the answer is probably no. We never even thought about it or we weren't being customer focused, et cetera. So share your primary business question in the comments below, and I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom to coincide with No Nonsense November for the annual channel. Have an awesome day.